This is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Quick Kick. Wow. Oh, my goodness. One of my childhood childhood toys, actually. When I was growing up as a kid, I had the original O-ring of this figure. Really, really cool figure. Had a lot of good times with this figure. I picked up this figure from Amazon.com. Let's get this guy out of packaging. The name's Quick Kick. And here is Quick Kick out of the box. And it's a great looking figure. I really think this is one of the more underrated figures for this wave. Everyone's going after Metalhead, uh, Duke, Scarlet. <laughs> but if you are a fan of collecting G.I. Joes back in the 80s, Hasbro came up with some really unusual, very uncanny and different looking figures. I mean, who goes into battle against Cobras uh, armed with machine guns and tanks and laser rifles? Uh, shirtless, barefoot, and armed only with katanas and nunchucks. I mean, who does that, right? So I thought it was a very, very unique character. Uh, back in the day, I did a lot of martial arts. So my brothers and I did, and we were really interested into these uh, martial arts related characters like Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Budo, Jinx, Quick Kick. Uh, I, I thought they were a very, very unique uh, character, very unique type of characters uh, to be put in a sort of military uh, toy line. And I thought they were pretty cool. This figure, I thought it turned out great. Uh, I like the more modernized look to him. Uh, his hair is much better looking now. Uh, instead of a weird, like the sash he had, the old 80s uh, figure was kind of weird. This one's more like a bandolier. I like that. I like that they put some detail uh, on, on his uh, pants. Let's take a closer look at the details of this new classified series, Quick Kick. Head to toe, the figure stands at about 16 and a quarter centimeters tall, or about six and one third inches tall. For some size comparisons, here he is with the first release of Snake Eyes. And I am shocked that he is much taller, like half a centimeter taller than Snake Eyes. I don't know how true that is. He's not even wearing boots. Did Hasbro get the scale wrong? Because I was under the impression Snake Eyes would be much taller than Quick Kick. I think they got this one wrong, but nevertheless, they still look great together. Cannot wait to get Jinx. The figure comes with a slew of accessories. First up, he has two head sculpts, which I totally did not expect. On the left, he's got his uh, nonchalant, traditional poker face, non-expression head sculpt. And on the right, he's got what I believe is his Bruce Lee face. Like, ooh, ooh, wah -yah, wah -yah. I mean, I thought, I thought that was sort of like akin to that. A Bruce Lee kick-ass head sculpt but both head sculpts look great uh, i do prefer uh this one over the other uh and you can see his sculpt i really think this is a brand new sculpt uh the bare chest bare torso with the bare arms i think is new uh the pants are obviously new hips torso abs even the feet are new completely brand new uh sculpt the neck is on a triple ball joint, as you've already seen. Ball joint here, ball joint in the middle, and then ball joint at the base of the neck. Uh, he's got a ratcheting ab crunch, a uh, ball jointed waist, butterfly swivel uh, shoulder joints. Arms can go in and out, forward and backward 360. You got bicep swivels, uh, pinless double hinged elbows. Wrists uh, can swivel and go up and down. The other hands go in and out. Uh, hips are on drop down ball joints. You can do the splits, go kick forward and backward. He's got a thigh swivel, double jointed pinless knee joints. He's got a boot cut, or in this case, he <laughs> doesn't have a boot, but it's a calf swivel. Ankles uh, hinge up and down and have the rocker tilt. So beautifully sculpted, even his toes, nicely sculpted. Uh, there's some design on the side of his pants, very cool. The bandolier has the shurikens. 
Other accessories include his backpack, which is much bigger now compared to the original 80s toy. Uh, it's now colored red. The original was like a small satchel pouch backpack was much smaller than this and could only fit one sword now they gave him two swords and i guess in the when they re-release this in a uh, retro card version they're going to recolor this one gray so he's got two katanas of medium length so you can slide them onto the backpack just like the old toy but this time two swords will fit he's got these uh nunchaku or nunchucks they're made of soft pvc so you can actually make him hold it like like how bruce lee would hold it like whoa, whoa, I, mean, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the intent for this uh head sculpt psh, psh, so yeah, I think this was on purpose. Soft PVC, uh, very, very soft. And I think that, that because it was there's supposed to be a chain to be soft, you could hold it. Now, uh, you can store the nunchucks here on his, the rear part of his belt. Uh, both will fit. You can store it that way if you want to, but I think it was meant to be stored this way. Or perhaps you can. Can you store it the other way around? Yeah, I, I suppose you can. Either way is fine. I think this is how, you know, Raphael or Michelangelo, the Ninja Turtle, would store it, I think, but it's better if he stored it this way. It's a lot easier to store. But either way, it works out fine. Put the back back here. Okay. And then he comes with uh, alternate hands. He's got the karate chop hands that go in and out and swivel. He's got the punching hands. Fist hands that go in and out and swivel as well. He's got the fudgy bar. Fro not fudgy bar, but uh, I guess this is officially called a frozen fudgy. This was the product he was advertising when uh, the rest of the Joes, Alpine and the rest of the Joes found him. And yeah, <laughs> that, that is a nice touch. They've given him some frozen fudgies. And uh, lastly, the most useless part uh, or accessory of this set is this blast effect type of shuriken he's throwing some shuriken a shuriken and it, it's sort of like a blast effect i'm not entirely sure how this thing works because i really tried to make him hold it i mean he can't is it like this he's he's throwing the ninjas the the shuriken like this so yeah it's kind of weird it it doesn't yeah, um, it's supposed to be, if, if you ask me, it should have been for the open hand and he should, he should have been able to, there should have been like a peg, a small peg that would tab in here. And I think the karate chop hand would have been the better option to hold the shuriken. But uh, nope, that didn't happen. And... It, <laughs> Honestly, he's pretty useless. He, you know, he's throwing the shuriken like this. Oh, man, it, it just feels weird. I, I thought this was pretty useless. Uh, overall, generally very, very pleased with this figure. It's a childhood toy of mine. And to have him in the 112 scale, oh, man, so much nostalgia. I had a lot of fun times uh, with this figure back in the day. And so some final thoughts on this classified series, Quick Kick. Man, he is standing on one leg. He's been falling over, but I managed to stand him on one leg. And it is possible. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can before he topples over. But, yep, he can. <laughs> there he goes. And that's what's so cool about this figure. You can, you can get him posed on one leg. I really think this is such an underrated figure. He's not your usual guns blazing, you know, full tactical gear on type of G.I. Joe figure. He's a martial arts based uh, G.I. Joe figure. And he was a lot of fun on the cartoon. For those of us who really grew up with, with this figure, I mean, there's so much nostalgia. He's such a cool kick ass figure, <laughs> pun intended. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this G.I. Joe Classified Series Quick Kick. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yay! He stood up till the end of the video.